Hallelujah. I would like uh, I would ask you to stay standing for a moment. As we're gonna turn into the word of the Lord in Numbers chapter 13 and verse 25. Praise the Lord. As we turn there, I want to tell you how uh, privileged we feel and excited we are to be here with you tonight. I'm happy to be here with my family. It's our first time in Serbia. Amen. And a beautiful country. And beautiful people. And if there is one thing that I feel, there is a great hunger for the things of God in this place tonight. Amen. Amen. I believe in the next couple of days, God is going to heal. God is going to restore. We're not just going to shout all the time. We're going to cry together. We're going to rejoice together. We're going to find healing together. We're going to get influenced here. First. Before we go influence out there. We're going to find healing here. So we can bring healing in the world. So this is going to be our sanctuary for the next couple of days. And I believe God is going to meet with us. Amen. I give honor to Pastor Vladimir and his family. Amen. Thank you for the warm welcome. Your hospitality. And I honor your leadership here. I honor Pastor Paul and his family. Amen. And if you are a minister here, we honor you tonight. We especially honor all of you young people that sacrificed your money and your time to come here to be with God. We honor you tonight. I still got my sticker. How many of you still got your sticker? Seriously? She got the sticker. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're going to win a prize this week. <laughs> Amen. I have no stickers with me this week. My budget was empty. <laughs> but I have a word from the Lord. Amen. Are you ready to preach with me? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Numbers chapter 13 verse 25. It's a story where Moses sent out the 12 spies into the promised land. And they come back with a report. And so the Bible says that they returned from searching the land after 40 days. And they went and they came to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel until the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh. And they brought back word unto them and to all the congregation and they showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land that you send us, and it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled, and they're very great, and moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Ali narod koji živi u zemlji je moćan, a gradovi su utvrđeni i veoma veliki. Tamo smo videli i enakove potomke. And the Anakites, Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites dwell in the mountain, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. U Negevu žive Amaličani, u Goriju žive Hetiti, Jevusejci, Amorejci, Hananci žive uz more i uz Jordan. 
And Caleb stilled the people before Moses, and he said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. Tada Caleb utiša narod pred Mojsijom i reče, Hajde, pođimo gore i osvojimo je, jer je možemo savladati. I'll stop with verse 31. But the men that went up with him said, We're not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we are. Maybe let's read verse 33. <laughs> Uh, and then we saw the giants, the son of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Tamo smo videli i nefilime, enakovce, divovskog porekla. Činilo nam se da prema njima, uh, činilo nam se da smo prema njima kao skakavci, a tako se i njima činilo. They basically told Moses, Moses, it's impossible. We can't do it. And Caleb and Joshua said, we can do it. So tonight I want to talk to you about this subject. The influenced and the influencer. The influenced are those that be influenced and those that influence. Oni koji su pod utjecaj i oni koji utiču. Amen. Everybody understand? Would you put your Bibles down? Let's pray together. Spustimo naše Biblije i hajde da molimo. And ask the Lord to minister to us tonight in Jesus' name. Before you see it, ask four people. Are you being influenced? Or are you an influencer? <laughs> Amen, you may be seen it. The word influence comes from a Latin word. The Latin word influere. Which literally, it's a combination of two words. It's uh, one part is into. Yeah, or in. Uh, and the other part, fluere, means to flow. And so the word influence literally means to flow in two. Today when we speak of influence, we speak of this kind of unseen force. A power that someone has to change the way you think. To change your thoughts. Your decisions. Your actions. Influence can change your behavior. In a positive or in a negative way. Back in ancient times. They believed that influence was a literal source. Oni su verovali da je utjecaj u stvari neki izvor koji dolazi sa druge planete na ovu planetu. Verovali su da je to neka substanca. Nisu mogli da shvate šta menja naš način razmišljanja. Ali zvali su to utjecaj. Today the word influence has been very popular through social media. Danas ova reč je postala jako popularna kroz socijalne, kroz društvene mreže. Celebrities. Imamo zvezde. And politicians. Političare. They are referred to as influencers. I na njih ljudi kažu da su uticajni ili da su influenceri. There are people that through their status. Postoje ljudi koji pokazuju svoj status. They change the way you think about things. I oni menjaju ili oblikuju način na koji ti vidiš stvari. They change our public opinions. Oni menjaju naše mišljenje o javnim stvarima. Our choices. 
o našim odlukama. Sometimes even our behavior. Nekad i menjaju naše ponašanje. Just because they have a platform. Samo zato što oni imaju platformu. And they talk about things and everybody can hear it. I oni pričaju o nekim stvarima i svi to slušaju. One of the most famous influencers today. Jedan od najpoznatijih influencera danas. Anybody have an idea? Da li neko ima neku ideju? Who's the number one influencer in the world? Except my son. Anybody have an idea? Da li neko ima neku ideju? It is a man by the name of Cristiano Ronaldo. To je čovjek koji se zove Cristiano Ronaldo. Anybody know Cristiano Ronaldo? Da li neko čuo za njega? Just two people. Dvoje, troje. I guess everybody knows Cristiano Ronaldo. Svi znaju ko je on. If you don't know him, he's a a kind of famous football player. Ako niste čuli za njega, on je onako popularan igrač futbala. And he is ranked number one influencer on the social media platforms. I on je ranginan kao broj jedan najuticajniji influencer na društvenim mrežama. Now Ronaldo is not a big thinker. On nije čovjek koji ima neke duboke misli. He's not known for his wisdom. On nije poznat zbog koje velike mudrosti. He doesn't say a lot. On ne priča mnogo. But he's known because he is a very good football player. Ali poznat je zbog toga što je jako dobar futbaler. And because of that, i zbog toga, he has influenced millions of lives. On je uticao na milijone života. Young people all over the world. Mladi ljudi širom sveta. Look up to Ronaldo. Gledaju na Ronaldo. And say I want to be like him. Kažu ja ću biti kao on. Dress like him. Ja ću se oblačiti kao on. Act like him. Ja ću se ponašati kao on. Play like him. Ja ću igrati kao on. He has influence. On utiče. Today as we walk around in our schools. Danas dok odamo po našim školama. That famous little word. Najpoznata reč koju se... It's used everywhere. Svi je koriste. I am a teacher in my school. Ja sam učitelj u školi. And when I'm talking. I kada učim. In the back of the class. Predajem neko od pozadnika. I hear one of my kids. Ja čujem neko od dece. Su. Su. I walk through the hallway. Ja hodam hodnikom. And I say hi to my kids. I kažem dobar dan dece. They don't say hi. Oni ne kažu ćao. They say su. And he has influence the way we speak. On utiče na način kako oni pričaju. Even in church, čak i u crkvi. There's a brother. Postoji brat. In the service that says su. Koji na službi kaže su. Ronaldo has influence what we do. Ronaldo je uticao na to što mi radimo. It began with the digital revolution in the early twenty, in the early two thousands. To je počelo sa digitalnom revolucijom početkom 2000-ih godina. Where blogging became very popular. Gde su blogeri postali popularni. And so with the rise of YouTube. I sa rastom i razvojem YouTube-a. And Instagram. I Instagram-a. And now TikTok. I sada TikTok-a. And all these platforms. I svih tih platformi. It's all about influence. Sve se vrti oko utjecaja. And brothers and sisters. I braću i sestre, mladi ljudi u Srbiji, želim da vam kažem nešto večeras. U današnjoj kulturi, postoji rat za moć uticaja na tvojim umom, na tvojim emocijama i na tvojim povrednosti. Postoji rat. Neko pokušava da zadobije učin. Kako bi ti promenio način svog razvijenja. Promenio način kako se obraćaš. Kako se oblačiš. Kako pevaš. Promeniš to što ti se sviđa. Sve se tu radi o uticaju. Sistem ovog svijeta. Sistem ovog sveta želi da teče kroz tvoj um da utiče na tebe. Kaži osobi pored sebe. Sve se radi o uticaju. Svaka pesma koju čuješ utiče na tebe. Svaki film koju odgledaš svaki media source Svaki izvor društvenih reda. Every highlight reel. Svaki reel. Every scroll. Svaki scroll. Every minute you pass on the screen. 
Svaki minut koji provodiš za ekranom. Every conversation you have. Svaki razgovor koji vodiš. Every relationship that you have. Svaki odnos sa bilo kim koji ima. Every person you meet. Svaka osoba sa kojom se susrećeš. Every thought you think. Svaku misao koju pomisliš. Is influencing your life. Utiče na tvoj život. Now influence is something very powerful. Utica je nešto vrlo jako. But influence. Ali utica je. Does not start here. Ne počinje tu. Influence starts here. Nego počinje u sredini. The fruit of influence rezultat uticaja is discovered many years later. Se otkrije mnogo godina kasnije. But it always starts here. Ali to uvijek počinje u sredini. Something you watch today nešto što gledaš danas something explicit you watch today nešto eksplicitno što gledaš danas becomes a suicidal thought in a couple of years. U par godina preraste u samoubilačke misli. Because you're wrapped up in shame and guilt. Jer si umotan u samu krivicu i samo saženjenje. A relationship that you have today odnose koje imaš danas whether it's good or bad bez obzira dobri ili loši becomes something in the future postaju nešto u budućnosti that has influenced you throughout the years što utiče na tebe godinama songs that you listen to today pesme koje slušaš danas worldly songs svetske pesme becomes a bondage in the future postaje tvoje zarobljeništvo u budućnosti to where you cannot lift your hands anymore da više ne možeš da tižeš svoje ruke i čudno je slaviti Boga jer malo po malo mi dozvolimo da nas te stvari svezuju i oni počinju da utiču na nas uticaj se ne dešava direktno on je jako spor je jako strpljiv He does not throw everything at once. On neće sve da baci na tebe odjednom. But a little doubt there. Ali ubaci malo sumnje. And an argument here. I jedan argument pogrešan tu. And a trauma in your past there. I malo traume u tvojoj prošlosti. And a negative experience there. I malo negativnih iskustava tu. And a little bit of this and that and i malo ovoga i onoga little by little i malo po malo he tries to influence what we think on utiče na to šta ti misliš and what we feel šta osjećaš how we see God kako vidiš Boga and how we see the church kako vidiš crkvu it's about influence sve je utiče and so the question tonight is this i pitanje večeras ovo am I going to be influenced da li ću ja biti pod uticajem or will I be an influencer ili ću ja biti uticajem I believe I am looking at a group of young people. Ja verujem da gledam na grupu mladih ljudi. That have made up their minds. Koji su odlučili. I will influence. Ja ću biti utjecaj. And not be influenced. Ja neću biti pod utjecaj. I will not be influenced. Ja neću biti pod utjecaj. By the things of this world. O stvari o čemu. That have made up their minds. Ja sam odlučio. I will be an influencer. Ja ću biti utjecaj. I will let the spirit of God. Ja ću dozvoliti da tu zvoli. Fall through me. I leti kroz sve. Utiče na ljude oko mene. Somebody say I will be an influencer. Neko kaže bit ću uticajan. Amen. Influence is the ability. Biti uticajan je sposobnost. To affect the way you think. Uticati na način nečeg razmišljanja. You can't really see it. To ne vidiš. But it's here in this room tonight. Ali to je tu u ovoj sobi. You can't really grab influence. Ne možeš da uhvatiš uticaj. But it's everywhere you go. Ali on se nalazi bilo gde odeš. It's in your schools. U tvojoj školi. How many of you go to school? Koliko od vas ti dalje u školi? It's in your workplace. Na vašem radnom mestu. It's in your family. U vašoj porodici. It's in your relationships. U vašim odnosima. Influence stands in the shadows. Uticaj počinje u senci. And it sends subtle changes and directions. To su male promene. To try to change your reality koje pokušavaju da promene tvoju realnost influence trickles down slowly in our spirits uticaj polako puzi u našeg duha you tell yourself I'm gonna scroll for two minutes on Instagram kažete sebi samo da bacim Boga na dva minuta na Instagram and before you know it i pre nego što skontaš after one hour posle sad vremena you're still scrolling 
I dalje vrtiš. Anybody ever had that happen? Da li vam se to dogodilo? You say I'm just going to do it for two minutes. Samo na minut dva. Three hours later you're still watching things. In tri sata kasnije ti i dalje gledaš. It has the ability. To ima mogućnost. To grab your attention. Da uhvati tvoju pažnju. And change your perception on reality. I promeni tvoj pogled na realnost. Before you know it, the influence of this world is nestling itself in our hearts. But will not manifest immediately. It takes time. But little by little, you start doubting whether or not the word of God really is what you want to believe. Počinješ da sumnješ u to da li je reč Bože zapravo ono u što želiš da veruješ. What service you miss? Propustiš samo jednu službu. That's all right. To je sasvim okej. I'll go next Sunday to church. Doći ću u nedelju. But it's influence. Ali to je uticaj. Because it will become one service. Jer je jedna služba. And then it's two services. Postanu dve službe. And then it's our miss Bible study. I onda propuštamo i biblijske naučanje. I'd rather want to go play basketball. I onda večeras je basket. I don't have time. Nema ja toliko vremena u tog nedelji. Nije to samo o rasporedu. Već stvar uticaja. Svi smo mi pod uticajem. Bez obzira da li se to vidi ili se ne vidi. There is an influence flowing from every direction into our lives. Utica iz svih smerova želi da uđe u naš život. But today I want to talk about a greater influence. Ali večera želim da govorimo o jednom jačem, većem utica. Than TikTok. Than TikTok. You guys have TikTok? Yeah, you can show it. Veći utica od TikToka. It's a greater influence than television. Veći utjecaj od televizije. It's a greater influence than demonic powers. Veći utjecaj od demonskih sila. It's the influence of Jesus Christ. To je utjecaj Isusa Hrista. That is the greatest influence that we have in our lives. To je taj veći utjecaj od demonskih sila. That is the greater influence. To stoji veći utjecaj. He changes the way we think. On promeni način našeg razmišljanja. Changes what you feel. On promeni ono što osjećaš. Changes what you see. Ono što vidiš. He changes what you you experience. Ono što doživljavaš. The greatest influence. Najveći utjecaj. Is from another world. Je sa drugog sveta. And his name is Jesus. I njegovo ime je Isus. His influence. Njegovo utjecaj. His influence is good. Njegovo utjecaj je dobro. His influence is powerful. Njegovo utjecaj je strano. And his influence lasts. I njegovo pravi. Nema većih utjecaja od sile Božje. You can be addicted. Možeš da budeš zavistan. But the power of God can set you free. Ali postaga Božja može da te osnovi. You can be bound in chains. Možeš biti zavezan u okolima. But the influence of the grace of God. Ali utjecaj milosti Božje. Can break those chains. Može da slomi te okolima. You can be bound up with depression. Može biti svezan u depresiju. But the joy of the Lord. Ali nagod bez pota. The joy of the Lord. I broke my voice at family camp last week. And you need, we need a miracle. Hallelujah. There is no greater influence than that of the Holy Ghost. I lived 19 years without God. I didn't know who God was. Nisam znao ko jeste Bog. Everything influenced me. Sve je uticalo na Bog. Rap music. Rap. The the pleasures of this world. Zadovoljstvo ovog sveta. Alcohol. Alkohol. I'd love to get drunk on a bottle of wine. Volio volio da volio sam da se napijem od vina. And pass out somewhere on the street. Da se ne svesti negdje na ulici. Because I allowed that to influence my life. Jer sam dozvolio da to utiče na moj život. The way I spoke and what I did. Način na koji sam govorio i šta sam radio. I thought that was normal. Mislio sam da je to normal. I let everything influence me. I dozvolio sam da sve utiče. If you wear those kind of clothes, I wore those kind of clothes. Ako se sada nosi ovakva odeća, ja nosim takvu odeću. Guys have long hair, I have long hair. Sada momci imaju dugu kosu, pušta ja kosu. I did everything, I copied what the world said. Postao sam samo kopija onog što se dešava u svetu. But in the summer of 2002, 
ali leta 2002. godine. There was something that was influencing my family. Nešto je uticalo na moju porodicu. My oldest brother Bart. Moj najstariji brat Bart. Broke up with a, a girl. Je raskinuo sa devojkom. And that hurts. I to boli. Don't, don't lift your hand, it's okay. Ne, nemojte dizati ruku. Yeah, it hurts, right? Boli, je da. And so, he became suicidal. I, imao je samo ubilačke misli. And he told me on several occasions. I bar puta mi je rekao. I want to commit suicide. Želim da se ubijem. Because the pain is too hard. Jer taj bol je prejak. And I went to my mom and none of us knew about God. I ja sam otišao kod moje mame i niko od nas nije znao ništa o Bogu. I told my mom we have to do something. Ja sam rekao mami moramo nešto da uradimo. Because Bart wants to kill himself. Jer Bart želi da se ubije. And we didn't know what to do. I nismo znali šta da radimo. And in the summer of 2002. I leta 2002. godine. Are you gonna follow me brother? Bratice smo do kraja brate. In the summer of 2002. While I was standing in the kitchen with my brother and my mom. Dok sam stajao u kuhini sa bratom i majkom. And my mom said to Bart. Moja majka rekla Bartu. She said Bart. Barte. Maybe you should ask God to help you. Možda bi trebalo da zamoliš Boga da ti pomogne. Because my mom was, was reading books about New Age. Jer moja majka je čitala New Age knjige. You know New Age? Da li ste čuli neka za New Age? You talk to stones and to trees and... Pričate sa kamenjem i drvećem i tako. But she also read books about God. Ali počela je onda da čita i knjige o Bogu. She said you should ask God to help you. I rekla je treba da tražiš pomoć od Boga. My brother looked my mom in the eyes. I moj brat je pogledao moju mamu u oči. And he cursed God in front of her. I psovao je Boga pred njom. He cursed God and he said you is your God. I rekao je ti i tvoj Bog. What can you do for me? Šta on može da uradi za mene? My mom was in tears. I ona je plakala. She said, don't talk like that. I rekla, nemoj tako da pričaš. And he got very upset and he walked away out of that conversation. I on se jako narutio i napustio je sobu. He was being influenced. Bio je pod uticajem. A couple of days later he took a journey to the United States. Par dana kasnije otišao je u Ameriku. We didn't know it then, but our family was going to a Pentecostal church. Mi tada to još nismo znali, ali naša rodbina tamo je išla u Pentecostal church. And Sunday morning they asked him if he would come to church with them. I nedelju jutru su ga pitali da li će ići u crkvo sa njima. And so for the first time in his life. I prvi put u njegovom životu. He stepped in the influence of an apostolic church. On je ušao pod uticaj apostolske crkve. He couldn't believe what he saw. I nije mogao da veruje šta vidi. He couldn't understand what he heard. I nije mogao da razume šta čuje. But something was gripping his spirit. Ali nešto je hvatalo njegovog duha. I'll make a long story short. Iskratit ću priču. At the end of his two week vacation. I nakon dva dva nedelja odmora. God baptized him with the Holy Ghost. Boga je ispunio sve u njemu. He spoke in tongues for the first time. He baptized him in Jesus' name. And God filled him with the Holy Ghost. I Boga je ispunio duha. He called me on the phone. On me nazvao na telefon. And he said you. I rekao. I yeah, my name. <laughs> Everybody say Yuru. Say Yuru. Okay. He, he he said I received the Holy Ghost. Ja sam primio svetog duha. I said the what? Šta? <laughs> the Holy Ghost. Svetog duha. Svetog. So what's the Holy Ghost? Šta je sveti duh? He said let me show you. I rekao pokazat ću ti. And he began to speak in tongues over the phone. I počeo da govori u jezicima preko telefona. For 15 minutes long. 15 minuta. We are so tore on my ear. Počeo je da moli u jezicima. I ja ga gledam šta ovaj radi. He's going crazy. Poludio je skroz. And I put the phone on speakers. I stavim telefon na speaker. And I call my mom and my dad. I pozovem svoje roditelje. I say come and listen to my brother. Molim vas slušajte ovo. I think he's going crazy. Ovo je poludio. And we were staring at that phone. I svi smo gledali ovako u telefon i te večeri all the way from Los Angeles to Belgium iz Los Angelesa u Belgiju through the phone kroz telefon an influence was coming in our home utica je ušao u naš dom something we never felt before nešto što nismo nikad osjećali u naš dom And I remember. We sent them off 
to uh, America. Poslali smo ga u Ameriku. And he was a ghost. I bio je kao duh. I'll see you in two weeks. Vidimo se za tre dana. Literally that's how he was. Bukvalno je tako otišao. I don't know what to do with my life. Ne znam šta ću ja sa sobom. Maybe I'll find a new girl over there. Možda se tamo zaljubim opet. Because when we're hurt, our first, in, our, our first reaction is not to turn to God. We want to go to something that replaces the hurt. Naša prva reakcija nikad nije da tražimo Boga, već da nađemo nešto što će zameniti tu bol. To soften the pain. Da malo smekšamo bol. Sometimes God allows the pain. Ali nekad Bog dopusti bol. So that He can reveal His healing power. Kako bi on mogao da ti pokaže svoju moć i cerenju. But when he came back, Pastor. Ali kada se vratio. And I saw him for the first time. Ja sam ga vidio prvi put. There was something about him that changed. Nešto u njemu se promijenilo. He was radiating. On je imao radijaciju. He was smiling. On se smijao. His walk was different. On je hodao drugačije. He talked differently. Pričao je drugačije. There was a presence about him. Bila je nešto u njegovom sudu. It was the influence of the Holy Ghost. To je bio utjecaj svega. And I looked at my brother. Ja sam stao i pričao. And I said, what happened to you? Šta ti se desilo? I need what you have. Nema treba to što ti je. You see what you have. That summer he baptized my entire family in Jesus' name. I to leta on je krstio celu svoju porodicu i imen imen Gospoda Isusa Krista. God filled me with the Holy Ghost. Gospod me ispunio sve. A little by little. Malo po malo. God began to change my life. Bog je počeo da menja moj život. Influence my thoughts. Da utiče na moj misli. Influence my habits. Menja moj nam. I'm here to tell you tonight. Ja sam tu da vam kažem. Maybe you don't know. Možda ne znaš sve ovo. But I want to tell you about Jesus. Ali želim da ti kažem o Isusu. His influence is not to break you. Njegov uticaj nije. His influence is not to destroy you. Njegov uticaj te neće uništiti. But it's to build you up. On će te uzgraditi. To heal you. Podijelite svoje ruge na Gospodu. Would you begin to magnify the name of Jesus? Podijelite ime Gospoda Isusu. Some of us need to make up our minds right on this very first night. Neki od vas morate da napravite odluku večeras. Am I going to be influenced? Da li ću biti pod uticajem? Am I going to be an influencer? Ću ja biti taj koji će da utiče. Please listen to me tonight. Molim vas, slušajte me. God needs his people. Bog, Bogu su potrebni ljudi. To be strong. Koji su jaki. He does not need a people. Njemu ne trebaju ljudi. He does not need young people. Ne, tre ne trebaju mu mladi ljudi. They are easily influenced. Koji su, koji lako padaju pod uticaj. With every new doctrine. Sa svakom novom doktrinom. I believe that. Kao sad ću u ovo da verujem. Every other emotion. Svaka emocija. I will follow that. Sada sledim ovo. We need strong young people. Sama trebaju snažni mladi ljudi. Regardless what happens. Bez obzira šta se nešta, bez obzira šta kažu, Is it true? Yes, it is. Good man. But he's being influenced. Ali on je pod uticajem. Every one of us are being influenced. Svi smo mi pod uticajem. Either good or bad. Dobri ili loši. But influence is all over us. Ali uticaj je uvek oko nas. But what we don't want. Ono što ne želimo. Is young people. I da mladi ljudi. That want to walk with God. Koji hodaju sa Bogom. And the smallest influence that comes in their lives. In nine manja stvar, daj manje utjeca i koji dođe u njihovo život. Let's come back to me, please. Vrati se ovdje, molim. And he tries to follow the Lord. I on pokušava da sledi Gospod. And he doesn't feel the presence of God. Ali ne osjeća prisutnost Božiju. 
But he wants to serve the Lord. But he, 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 some people are not really a good influence. Keep walking out to your back. <laughs> and, then, and then pull on him. And he just, you see what's going on? Back and forth. Worship the Lord. No, no, no. Let's, let's try that. But it's Sunday morning. No, no. Monday morning. Let's do this. Let's go back to church. And no, no. no, 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 no. It makes you dizzy, right? <laughs> and that's how many of us live for God. It's like a ship on a storm. Back and forth. It goes good, praise God. There's a drop of rain. God needs young people that are not easily influenced but rather want to influence their environment we do not walk like they walk I do not talk like they talk our talk needs to be like Jesus I don't dress like they dress I don't dress like they Sensual. 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 I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't want to dress like they dress. Well, I'll buy the shoes you want me to buy. And I'll buy the shoes you want me to buy. I'll define my gender the way you want me to define my gender. If I feel like this, I'm that. If I feel like that, I'm that. You know what that is? It's chaos. Chaos. It's confusion. It's because our young people all around us are being influenced. Not by God. But by the agenda of this world. Until a point where we start being influenced the way we see God. And the way we read our Bibles. So little by little, it becomes a battle. What am I going to believe? And tonight, we're going to settle that battle. We're going to make it our mind. You're going to be an influencer. But I'll stop being influenced by everything and anything. I will not be swayed back and forth. But I will control myself. I will guard my mind. Guard my thoughts. I will let the word of God. Be my influence. And the church be my influence. And the pastor be my influence. So that I can be strong in the Lord. Somebody say amen. Caleb and Joshua. Caleb and were influencers. But it was just the two of them. When Moses sent out the 12 spies, they came back with a negative report. And they told Moses, we can't do it. The land is too, the people are too great and it's too difficult. And little by little they began to influence the 4 million people around them. We can't do it. It's too difficult. But Caleb and Joshua raised their voice. I said, we can't do it. And guess who influenced Moses? Those two people influenced his decision. Not the four million people that said we cannot do it. What you need in Serbia is young people. They're going to tell your leaders we can do it. 
We don't need complainers. Ne trebaju oni koji se žale. We don't need gossipers. Ne trebaju nam oni koji ogovaraju. We don't need people say amen to pastor. Ne trebaju ljudi koji kažu amen pastor. And they say to each other it's not possible. Oh, ja to među sobom pričaju, ma ne mogu će to. We need to be of one voice and one mind. Moramo biti jedan glas, jedan um. And we get behind the man of God. I da stanemo iza čoveka Božeg. And we say Moses. Da kažemo Mojsije. We can do it. Možemo mi to. Let's take over the land. Hajde da se uzme na land. Let's see what happens. I'll finish with this. Amen. Maybe you want to play the piano or if you want our musicians, somebody will play the piano. Hallelujah. We need in this uh, in this generation of young people the voice of faith. Glass The voice of faith. Glass Not a voice that is influenced by the confusion of this world. Everybody can do it in church. But what about in your schools? We can dance here. But the influence happens there. That's where you make the difference. Tamo činiš neku razliku. Tonight, večeras, we gotta make the choice. Moramo odlučiti. What's gonna influence me? Šta će uticati na mene? Who will be the influencer? Ko će biti uticajan u mom životu? Is it gonna be Ronaldo? Da li će to biti Ronaldo? And their things. I njegove stvari. And their passions. I njihove strasti. Or am I gonna give it all? Ili ću dati sve? To the kingdom of God. Kralju su Božje. And live with my whole heart. Even if it means that I have to sacrifice. There are influences here in this church. You have a voice. And people look to you. Use it. Iskoristite to to draw the people unto the Lord. Kako bi ljude povukli ka Gospodu. Not to yourselves. Ne ka sebi. We don't need charisma. Ne treba nam charisma. I don't need charisma. Meni ne treba charisma. We've traveled all over the world now. Putovao sam po celom svetu već sad. We've preached everywhere. Propovedali smo na raznim mestima. But I don't want to come to a place. Ali ne želim doći na mesto. But I walk in a building. Gde uđemo u zgradu A people go Ljudi ju kažu Brother Van Gorp is there Brother Van Gorp je tu I don't care Šta me briga? Who am I? Ko sam ja? I want people that turn their eyes to Jesus Ja želim ljudi koji gledaju njega Because if it was not the We can play games in the kingdom of God. Možemo se igrati razne igre za ukraljevo svoje. Or we can make up our minds. Ili da odlučimo. I will be an influencer. Ja ću biti uticajan. I don't need a million followers on Instagram. Ne treba mi milion pratilaca. I don't need one like. Ne treba mi jedan like. I want to follow one. Želim da sledim njega. Jesus Christ. Isusa Hrista. I don't want to be popular. I don't want to have a name. I want to know the name. I want to preach the name. I want people when they look at me. They see the name of Jesus. I'm free. I don't want to be Come here, brother. There's only one guy 
Samo jedan ima takvu melu košenu. You're a strong looking man. Ti si mladiš koji izgleda jak. But you have influence. Ali ti imaš uticaj. Your influence. Ti si uticaj. It's not to be popular. I to ne treba da iskoristi da budeš popularan. It's not so people look at you and follow you. Ne da ljudi gledaju na tebe i prate te. Your influence. Tvoj uticaj. Is that they can see behind you. Je da vide iza tebe. A God that can change. A Boga koji menja sve. A God that can heal them. A Boga koji može da ih iscene. A God that can deliver them. A Boga koji može da ih oslobodi. That's the influence that you have. To je uticaj koji imaš. You are here tonight. Ti si tu večeras. This is not just a party. 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 This is not It will happen with you. But your name. Miroslav, would you lift your hands to the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 H